Hello everyone, today's lesson is lesson 25, listing the factors of whole numbers. So here it wants us to list the factors of 20. We're looking for all the whole numbers that divide 20 without leaving the remainder. Okay, so we're thinking, we're looking for what can be divided by 20. Okay, so one way to start out with 1 and try each number, whole number up to 20. If we do this, we'll find the net, we'll find all of the answers. Okay, so we can do 20 divided by 1 equals 20. 20 divided by 2 equals 10. 20 divided by 3, well, 3 can go into 20 uh, 6 times, and that's 18. So that's going to leave a remainder. So 3 can't. So we'll do 20 divided by 4 is 5. Now I could keep going, but you see here that we have the factors 4 and 5. And those are right next to each other on the number line. So I know there's no other factor that can go into 20. Because I've already got 1 and 20, 2 and 10. We already know that 3 can't. 4 and 5 can. We can try 6, but if you look... 6 goes into 20 only 3 times, okay, and that's 18, so that doesn't work either. Okay, and that's the same with 7, 8, etc. Once you have, get to the point where you have two factors next to each other that divide a number, you know you're finished. So my factors of 20 are 1 and 20, 2 and 10, and 4 and 5 list the factors of 23. So if we try to, to divide 23 by any number, so I know I can't divide it by 2, because 2 can only divide even numbers. So I know I can divide it by 1, and that's 23. We can try 3. Okay, and 3 goes into 3, 23, 7 times, so that's 21. So I'll have a remainder, so it's not 3. We can try 4. Okay, oops. Okay, and 4 can go into 23 five times, and that's 20, so that has a remainder. Okay, we can try 6, but 6 can only go into it two times, and that's 18, so that leaves a remainder. So the only numbers that can go into 23 are 1. And 23. Okay. There are no other factors. Now sometimes we can discover factors of a number just by looking at one or two of its digits. For example, a factor of every even number is 2. And any whole number ending in a 0 or a 5 has 5 as a factor. Okay. So it says which of these is not a factor of 30? Well, I know 2 is a factor of 30 because 30 is even. 3 is a factor of 30 because I know that 3 times 10 is 30, so it can't be that. Um, 5 I know is a factor of 30 because it ends in 0. So the answer has to be 4. If I try to do that, 30 divided by 4, well, that can only go into it 7 times, and that's 28. And so that leaves a remainder. So 4 can is not... A factor of 30. Okay, this one says which factors of 9 are also factors of 18? So the factors of 9 are 1, 3, and 9. Okay, the factors of 18 are 1, 2, 6, and 18. So we say that 1, oops, I missed one. Factors of 18 also include 3 and 9. I've missed those ones. There we go. So we say that 1, 3, and 9 are all factor, are all common factors. Okay, because they're common factors because both 9 and 18 share those factors. Okay. 
right, and that's it for this lesson. Good luck on your homework.